Auto Aviation, an American startup, has introduced the Solera 500L, a business and utility light aircraft that aims to revolutionize the private aviation industry. Regardless of how you describe the Auto Solera 500L's form, it stands out. It differs from other aircrafts in appearance due to its unique aerodynamics. So in today's video, we are going to take a deep dive into this revolutionary plane. Now let's take a quick overview of this plane. The shape of the Auto Solera is designed to significantly reduce its drag by allowing air to flow smoothly over its surface. This makes the aircraft less power hungry, which reduces its fuel consumption. William Otto Jr., the chief executive officer of Auto Aviation states, this provides us with four to five times the efficiency of other turboprop aircraft and seven to eight times the efficiency of jet aircraft. This results in significantly higher operating expense compared to comparable business-sized aircraft. According to Auto Aviation, flying on the Solera will cost $328 per hour as opposed to $2,100. It will achieve 18 to 25 miles per gallon, similar to that of large SUVs, as opposed to 2 to 3 miles per gallon. This includes seating for six, a speed of 460 miles an hour, and a range of 4,500 miles, which is comparable to that of an airplane. This then begs the question, how smooth is Auto Solera's flow? William Otto Sr., an aerospace industry veteran who has worked on projects such as the U.S. Minuteman Missile Program and the B-1 Bomber, conceived of the still prototype Solera 500L. The project began as a thought experiment. Could a business jet be created with lower operating costs than what is currently available? Otto reviewed the studies he had conducted on torpedoes when attempting to increase the torpedo capacity of a submarine. To accomplish this, he made the torpedo engine significantly smaller. He altered the shape of the torpedoes to make them more effective and less energy intensive. Laminar flow was the concept that dictated this shape's form. Laminar flow occurred when the fluid, such as air, moves in layers without disturbance. It is the opposite of turbulence, which occurs when the flow is chaotic and disorganized. The Solera 500L is egg-shaped, allowing for luminar flow on its surface. This facilitates the aircraft's flight through the air. According to Auto Aviation, the design reduces drag by 59% compared to an aircraft of the same size which saves a significant amount of money on fuel and pollution. But if the luminar flow is so advantageous, why aren't all aircrafts designed with it? Auto states, to maintain luminar flow, structures must not bend, flex, or change forms. This would never be possible with metal. It can only be done with composites. Even small, temporary objects such as melted ice or crushed insects can disrupt the luminar flow which is difficult to make large enough for an airplane. Otto suggests that inexpensive fuel could have been another reason why designers opted for more straightforward engineering. Aside from all of these, the Otto comes with a diesel engine. Because luminar flow reduces the plane's power requirements, the German company Red equipped the rear of Solera 500L with a single V12 diesel engine. Auto states it was the most aerodynamically efficient aircraft engine we could find. An electric or hydrogen engine could replace the diesel engine soon, rendering the aircraft pollution-free. Compared to competitors' aircrafts, we've reduced carbon emissions by 80% for the time being. We're better per passenger than airlines that meet 2030 to 2050 emission standards, Auto says. In 2018, the Solera 500L made its maiden voyage. Since then, there have been approximately 50 test flights. It has reached a maximum speed of roughly 251 miles an hour and an altitude of 17,000 feet. Soon, a more powerful engine will be installed, allowing it to travel faster and reach altitudes closer to 40,000 feet. Currently, the fuselage has no windows, but that will change at some point. Auto believes the aircraft will go on sale in 2025. Right now, we are initiating conversations with political partners and operators around the globe. People from all over the world are interested in this aircraft 
and Otto estimates that the market for it is approximately 100 times larger than the market for private aviation. With that in mind, how does the construction affect the model size? Because of the aircraft's construction, the cabin is larger than those of the Pilatus PC-12 and the Beechcraft King Air. Our cabin height is 6 foot 2 inches, so you can board the aircraft by simply walking on. There is a restroom where you can currently stand, Otto states. It is comparable to a mid-sized business jet. Some customers, however, may dislike the store's new appearance. Otto explains, corporate executives flying in Gulf Streams may not be interested in this, but there are many people who are fed up with commercial airlines, airport security, waiting in lines, and how long it all takes. Initially, the plane will be sold for close to $5 million to private customers. However, there are plans for two larger models with capacities of up to 19 and 40 passengers, which would make them competitive with regional jets. Auto reports that negotiations with major airlines are ongoing. Before that, however, the Solera has a long way to go, including years of test flights and the plane's complete certification. The most important aspect is keeping an impressive set of promises. Richard Abulatha, an aviation analyst at Teal Group, asserted that auto aviation makes numerous extravagant claims regarding the performance of its aircraft. Abulatha states, Everything sounds extremely promising, perhaps too promising. Given the combination of range, speed, capacity, and a very low powered engine, I believe they only need to demonstrate that it functions. The auto consumes less fuel. The Solera 500L prototype took its maiden flight in January 2018 and performance tests began in September 2019. According to the official website of Auto Aviation, the aircraft is currently being constructed and has undergone 500 successful test flights. The bullet-like shape of the Solera is intended to reduce drag by allowing air to flow smoothly over its surface. Thus, the plane requires less power to operate, resulting in less fuel consumption. The aircraft is in mid-wing, single-wing monoplane with a single-pusher-style five-blade propeller. Luminar flow is applied to its wings, fuselage, and tail, resulting in a ship that flies smoothly and consumes less fuel. Due to its lower fuel consumption, it should have a low hourly operating cost of $328. A similar jet aircraft costs $2,100 per hour. The plane's spacious cabin, which is approximately 6 foot 2 inches tall in height and has six first-class seats, that can be configured in various ways ensures passengers' comfort. The auto also has low drag and high efficiency. The Solera 500L is designed for transcontinental travel and has an operating cost that are comparable to or less than the price of a commercial airline ticket per passenger. To meet these requirements, the entire aircraft must have a very low coefficient of drag and its movement must consume less fuel. To accomplish this, the wings, fuselage, and tail sections were comprised of numerous luminar shapes. The aircraft's two-stage turbocharging system allows it to cruise at altitudes between 12,000 and 15,000 feet, and a full luminar flow can be attained with an estimated 59% less drag than competitors. Since contamination can disrupt the luminar flow, the aircraft's performance should be certified with turbulent flow with a guaranteed range of less than 4,500 nautical miles. With a range of 4,500 nautical miles, the aircraft can fly between nearly any two U.S. cities without refueling. Due to its success, auto aviation is in discussions with major airlines. The Solera 500L can transport six passengers at 460 miles an hour and has a range of 4,500 miles, which is comparable to that of a conventional airliner. Auto Aviation also claims that the Solera will operate, as we have stated many times, $328 per hour as opposed to $2,100 an hour and will achieve 18 to 25 miles per gallon. Auto Aviation plans to put the Solera 500L into service by 2025, but before that, it must pass tests at altitudes greater than 17,000 feet, which it did in the most recent round of tests. In a company press release, Auto Jr. stated, The data from our first phase of test flights indicates that we are on the right track to achieving our aircraft goals. 
We couldn't be happier about this step towards our goal of having a production aircraft by 2025, and we can't wait to begin the next phase of development during which we will increase the aircraft's altitude and speed. Auto Aviation claims negotiations are underway with some major airlines. Before that, the company intends to sell the Solera to private clients for approximately $5 million per aircraft. We stated that it was inexpensive to operate, not to construct. You think the auto has a bright future in the aviation industry? Leave your thoughts and questions in the comments section below. Thanks for watching today's video and we'll see you in our next video.